Hello, welcome to this week at EPL for the week of Monday, May 9th, 2022. I'm Andrew. And I'm Hannah. And we'll let you know what's going on this week at EPL. Yes. Um, there's a decent amount of stuff going on. Uh, let's see here. Let me um, bring up some highlights here. So these are some uh, a new adult graphic novels and manga. Uh, the first one we've got is Pinball. A graphic history of the silver ball. That sounds kind of cool. Yeah, yes. Have so you played pinball? I have, yes. I love pinball. Tell us about this book. Yes, okay. So it is by John Chad. Um, in this dynamic nonfiction graphic novel, John Chad illustrates the little known story of pinball, how it works, and why it all matters in an age of special effects and on the screen gaming. Tracing pinball's roots back to the court of King Louis. Louis the Fourteenth, I think. Oh, okay, the Fourteenth. Yeah, I don't know Roman, Roman numeral. <laughs> <laughs> Through the immigrant experience of early twentieth century America, the post-war boom and the bust, right up to present day, Chad captures not just the history but also the artistry, cultural significance, and even the physics of the game. Oh, physics. <laughs> it's it's fascinating with with how everything works and it is, yeah. And like the ball when it's just that right spot where it's going right between the flippers and no matter what you do with I the know. Paddles, yeah. It's just, not going to get it. Nope, you just can't save it. It's really interesting the way that the, like when you pull back on the plunger and like mm -hmm. it feels like it like it, it just is this light tap it seems. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's like maybe it's different. Maybe now it's um it's like electronic because you oh. feel like you're actually pulling back the thing and it's going to hit it like that. But I think all it's doing is pushing a button that makes it... Yeah, because you pull it really hard. hard, but it doesn't really hit it that hard. Yeah. yeah. Um, there was uh, there were a couple of, of computer games that kind of simulate it as well. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. The next one is Batman the Imposter. Everybody loves Batman. Yes. Yes. By Madsen Tomlin, an art by uh, Andrea Andrea Sorrentino. I don't know... I don't know how that person, uh, who that person is. A unique new vision of Gotham, designed to be the logical next step for fans of this year's film, The Batman. Bruce Wayne's mission as the Batman has only been underway for a year, but he can tell he's making a difference in this city. Unfortunately, he has also made some powerful enemies. All the traditional power brokers of Gotham represent uh, resent the disruption, the disruption the Batman has brought to town. And it seems one of them has a plan to neutralize him by employing a malicious imposter. Mm. Mm. Batman must find this imposter and somehow clear his name. But how can you prove your innocence from behind a mask? Ooh. Mm. Very <laughs> was, suspenseful. Yeah. Yes, and very then we have, exciting. That's, that's in the yes. middle over there. Yes. And then we have Spy Family. Spy Family, Volume 7. Tatsuya Endo is the author. So Master Spy Twilight is unparalleled when it comes to the ongoing or to going undercover on dangerous missions for the betterment of the world. But when he receives the ultimate assignment to get married and have a kid, he may finally be in over his head. In this action-packed humorous series, Twilight has his work cut out for him, especially because what he doesn't know is that the wife he's chosen is an assassin and the child he's adopted is a telepath. Mm -hmm. What is that movie? Is it um, <clears throat> Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Yeah. Where they're both assassins? That's what that Yeah, like to, to, to assassinate each other, I think yeah. it was. What a good movie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see here. So also a reminder that graphic novels and manga uh, are also at teen. They're in children's and mm -hmm. online through Hoopla and Overdrive. And they're roughly, you know, uh, like, for example, these ones are um, listed as new adult graphic novels and manga. So they might be like a little, I don't know, about higher reading level. Um, that might not be the right phrase for um, it. Just a higher maturity level. That sounds good. Right. Uh, and then you'll have, obviously, correspondingly uh, similar levels in, uh, in the children's or in teen and such like that. Yeah. So you should be able to find something that fits, uh, fits where, where you want to be at, I guess. Um, yeah. But you can also go into each of those areas. Mm -hmm. And these will be um, on the main level in one of the new cubes that's by right. the main desk. Since they are new, that's where those mm -hmm. will always go. Yep. Um, let's see. So this is where we're getting into what's going on actually this week at EPL. So we wanted to highlight some of those important things. Um, homeschool problems. So uh, problems. <laughs> homeschool programs. 
Um, Eckhart Envoy is the main one we're going to be mentioning. We haven't had as many people at, or I don't think we've had anybody at Social Science Surveyors from what I heard. Um, so uh, if that is something that you want to participate in, uh, please at least let us know. Uh, that should be wrapping up pretty soon, though. Yeah. Uh, from what I heard. But Eckhart Envoy is, is at 10.15 a.m. So as you're watching this, that will have wrapped up maybe about 10 minutes ago, yeah. 20 minutes ago, something like that. Um, this is our elementary age homeschool group. They meet at the main library every Monday at 10.15 a.m. They learn about different countries and cultures from around the world. And then since this broadcast is on Mondays, after those have already occurred, yeah. we don't usually say what's going on this week, but we do encourage you to check out our website, which is linked in the description of this video. Yes. Um, check that uh, for the next week's topic, um, uh, available by visiting the website. Mm -hmm. You know, and click on the calendar. Yeah, and then also this morning, um, Mondays, we always have babies and books. So that starts at 10 a.m. in the secret garden, which is behind the children's um, level desk. Mm -hmm. And then they sing songs and do nursery rhymes and then read board books together. Um, so, yeah, that wrapped up about 1030 this morning. Too. Yep. That's always fun because it's mm -hmm. it's um, it's a little it's, it's a relaxed feeling and such. So yeah. uh, obviously, since the babies aren't going to be as involved in it. Yes. Uh, it's up to the, the parents the or parents. caregivers to really um, kind of, you know, work with them and such. Mm -hmm. Like if you're playing the game, you get to move their hands and clap their yeah. hands and all that kind <laughs> of thing. Or make them do a little dance. <laughs> and then the bubbles come. They love the bubbles. <laughs> That's funny. Tonight is Teen Magic the Gathering. Uh, I should say this afternoon in the evening, mm -hmm. uh, starting at 4.30. It had been starting at 4 o'clock, but we pushed it back half an hour to make sure that people had time to um, get in on the game. Sometimes if we play a larger game, um, we don't want people to have to come in like just like 10 minutes, like 4.10, and then the game has already started and um, it's difficult yeah. to get in because the game can sometimes last over an hour. Mm -hmm. um, but a time it's a time to learn, to watch, or to otherwise play the, uh, the card game that's been around since the mid-90s. Mm -hmm. um, you don't need to own cards to play or even to learn. Um, the Teen Magic Club meets in the lower level of Teen every other Monday from 4.30 until 7.00. It's fun. Yes. I do that. <laughs> yes. Um, Tuesday. So tomorrow we have family story time with Andy. Hey. Yes. Um, so you can join him. And it sounds like it's going to be a nice week. So hopefully uh -huh. the story times will be outside this yep. week. Um, yes. And it is back in person. So they meet outside around the fountain for outdoor story time, books, rhymes, movements. And yes. Um, do you know what the theme is for... This the week? theme for this week is, I think I put it on this page, uh, gardening. Oh, that's fun. So learn about gardening because yes. it does happen on Tuesday morning and Wednesday morning. Yes. So Tuesday, um, it's at 1045 and then the first time, and then the second time is 615. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Yep. Um, so that is yep. family story time. Uh, and actually, the next one is not correct because I forgot to take that off. <laughs> so there's no D and D next this this week, but it will be next week. Let's see. Again, family story time on Wednesday morning, ten forty-five. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not missing anything else. Am I right? No. Okay. Wednesday is also the EPL Board of Trustees meeting. So as usual, they will meet uh, and hold their twenty twenty-two regularly regular monthly meeting uh, business meeting at six p.m. At the uh, Wilner Genealogy uh, Center, which is, which I think, is where we are. I think they do it here, yeah, in this very room. Yes. <laughs> um, so that is something that I believe is open to the public. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I believe so. Yeah, so if that's something that you're interested in, um, then that is something that you can do. Yes. Um, there's also, I skipped over it, even though it's like highlighted. Orange. <laughs> it's highlighted on my notes. I did that too. It's elementary. Uh, this is something that we were doing last year, some. Um, and we want to make sure that we have this uh, opportunity available for uh, elementary age kids. Um, do you want us to talk about that one? Yeah, sure. So um, we started around 3.30 after school, which gives you enough time to like stop home, get a snack, mm -hmm. um, and then come back to the library. So they do a bunch of different activities. Um, they mix up science, art, food, engineering. Um, yes, so that goes until... What, five? Yeah, I think it usually ends a little bit before five. So if it begins yeah. like at 3.30, it might go until 4.30. Yeah, um, it depends. Yeah. But. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then if it's, a, if it's a shorter thing as well, like if, 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 um, 
if the activity takes a little bit time, a little bit less time, sometimes it might not last the full hour. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes it's something that's like an exploratory kind of like, yeah, like, like a stain. explore these things. Yeah. Um, but if it's like a, a craft or a project that, that they're working on, it'll take a little bit less time. Uh, so yes, that mm -hmm. is Wednesday. Yes, and so Thursday, um, we have our genealogy chat, mm -hmm. um, which they do here in the genealogy building. Um, it's every Thursday at three thirty. So they start at. Sorry. <laughs> 3.30. Um, and it goes about until like 4.15, something like that. Um, it's an online broadcast, so you can watch it on Facebook. And then it'll be posted later onto YouTube if you want to watch it afterwards. Yep. We always try to, we broadcast that on this same Facebook page, uh, the, the like our Public Library Facebook mm -hmm. Facebook page. And then we also kind of cross post it or share it onto the the. Well, in our Genealogy yeah. Center page as well, so you can find yeah. it there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, yeah, onto YouTube especially. So the last, the yeah. last two are are really interesting. So I invite you to check those out. The the most recent one was um, the YMCA Teen Canteen, oh, yeah. which was some kind of gathering kind of thing mm -hmm. for teens uh, at the old YMCA, kind of before the part of it was like taken away and such, or torn down, yeah. uh, replaced uh, and such, um, renovated. Yeah. And then, um, as well, the one before that was, and I can't remember her name right now. I don't want to say the wrong name. I think I have... Barbara. Bar yeah, Barbara Morrow was here, and then she was here with Alan. Somebody, somebody Alan. I don't remember. Oh, I don't remember either. But it's a really cool, um, really cool kind of book talk uh, mm -hmm. about her book. Um, and this is somebody who's local, too. So um, we will try to get some of that information yeah. maybe in the comments here or in the chat. Uh, or not in the chat, um, in the description, mm -hmm. so you can check those uh, videos out. Yeah. Uh, but they're really, really um, interesting how they come together and everything, especially when people mm -hmm. are um, guests on the show. Yeah. Otherwise, that's an online, uh, kind of online webinar podcast thing that mm -hmm. you do. Yeah, and um, this Thursday, they're going to be talking about Indiana's early female architects and builders. So yeah. that'll be interesting. Yeah. You don't hear a lot about that. Mm -hmm. Uh, Brews and Books, uh, A Slow Fire Burning. That is the name of the book that they are reading. Um, join Darcy at Auburn Brewing Company for a pint and good conversation. This month, Brews and Books is reading A Slow Fire Burning by Paula Hawkins. Uh, books are available at Eckhart, are at Eckhart Public Library for anyone who would like to participate. Library cards are not required. Uh, if you weren't able to read this book but want to see what Brews and Books is all about, you're more than welcome to join. Brews and Books is a partnership between Eckhart Public Library and Auburn Brewing Company. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely a cool, a cool, um, cool uh, kind of event and such like that. Yeah. Laid back. Yes, very laid back. <laughs> if there was a way to join a book club and be the most laid back you can be, this is... Yes. I'm going to guess it. I actually haven't been to it, but yeah. It seems very I laid back, I though. Like, how could it not be laid back if you're at the Auburn Brewing Company, yep. right? Yep. Okay, um, so Friday... Um, we have a new Lego club, so that's been going on for um, about two weeks, I think, so far, and that is at four um, in the activity room, so that's um, just behind the children's desk uh, on the children's level, so you just go up the stairs, yeah. and then there's Even doors. Even behind the secret garden. Yes, yes, it's the room behind the secret garden. It's kind of like the secret activity room. Yes, it is. <laughs> How many people have been in there? Yeah, we're... Oh, it's like a new thing. We're yep. opening it to um, programs, so that's fun. It's a bit bigger than it used to be as well. So if you mm -hmm. happen to be here with uh, with with Littles, I guess you could say in early 2017, I think, um, was the last time that we had been using it prior to the fire as well as the um, the pandemic, I was going to say something else, mm -hmm. like shutdown and such. Um, that is uh, something that we can use for programming as such. Yeah. Saturday, so that was Friday. Yes. Saturday, uh, Document Shredding Services, as well as the Friends of EPL Book Sale. Uh, so first off, the Document Shredding Services are open to individuals or uh, for shredding individual um, non-business related uh, mm -hmm. items from 9 a.m. until 11 a.m., so uh, just a couple hours. Uh, this means documents uh, must be personal and not business related. Spiral notebooks, paper clips, and staples are permitted. Uh, but binder clips cannot be part of the docu documents. You can actually watch it being shredded, is what I've been That's told. That's fun. Mm -hmm. And the Friends of EPL book sales from 9 to 3. Yes. But 
but uh, the first hour is for members um, but it's easy because you can get your own membership at the door. Yeah, so even if you're not a member and you want to go looking and you show up at 9 and you're like, oh no, I'm yep. too early. <laughs> you <laughs> and then can you can just, still do that because it yeah. supports, it mm -hmm. supports the, the Friends, which supports the library. Yeah, uh, which supports term. all of our programs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then, so that's not all. On Saturday, we also have Friends of EPL Meet and Greet <clears throat> with Katie Mullins, mm -hmm. which is our new, um, EPL's new... Director. Executive director, I think. Yes. Or direct, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, and um, you also can meet, um, what is it? Um, Sean Nolan from Sanctuary Native Landscapes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fun. And then you get to know everyone, and then there will be coffee, and yeah. That sounds good. Yeah, it does sound good. Yeah, and that's at 10 a.m. is when that stuff begins, I believe. Yes, and then it ends at 12 p.m. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, going to be kind of interesting things going on, mm -hmm. since obviously we'll, we're, the library itself will be open on Saturday from 9 to 3. There'll be the um, the shredding services, there'll be the book sale, yes. and there'll be the uh, tours as well as the meet and greet. Yes, and yeah. the meet and greet will be by the fountain, as long as it's um, nice weather, so... What's and the weather going to be like on Saturday? 79. Good. So, There's yeah. A chance of thunderstorms. Oh, no. So, we'll see. If it is raining, then um, I believe the backup place is the assembly room in the main library. Awesome. Yeah. Well, look at that. Yes. Knowing stuff. <laughs> yes, we know things. <laughs> yeah. So, um, <laughs> wrapping up with the ongoing programming, the stuff that just kind of keeps going. Um, uh, still, uh, ch uh, ch children's and adults take and make. Yes. If they are available still, they will be there. Um, it is limited to uh, what we have on hand. Mm -hmm. The adult uh, mini terrarium is pretty cool. That's limited to it one per person because we have to use these little glass jars for that. And you get to like put little um, yeah. dirt, sand stuff sand. in there and some different rocks and yeah. uh, a an air plant. Is that what it's yes, called? Yes, I believe that is what it's it's like a little plant that you yeah. can kind of mist like once a week or something like that. And it's it, really cool. It's fine. They look like fake little, they're so tiny. Yeah, it looks fake. You wouldn't they know. Do, yeah, I thought they were fake, honestly. Yeah, and yeah. then the children's kit is uh, uh, pipe cleaner, flowers, and other things like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's April showers have brought May flowers. Yes, we love that. That means the showers will end. They better. Except for maybe Saturday, which is a 50% chance. Oh, no. Um, again, these are available as supplies allow. Try to pick yours up as close to the beginning of the month as you can. Um, they're usually out by the end of the month. Yes, I believe there are still some, though. We still have quite a few. Um, both of them. Yes. Yep. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Um, anything fun that you've, you've got going on? My puppy's birthday is this weekend. Oh, cool. Yay. Happy birthday to your puppy. Yes. Awesome. I don't. I haven't seen it myself, but I heard there's a new Doctor Strange movie that oh, yeah. that has come out. That's been. Um, mm -hmm. I don't want to say divisive, but there have been some reviews that are like, "Oh, you can tell this was made uh, during like a certain environment or such like that." But yeah. Other people are like, "Man, what are you talking about?" Yeah, it's like really <laughs> good. Yeah. So yeah. I I don't know what to believe. So be your own judge. Um, yes, go see it. If you want to look up other uh, reviews for it, check a multitude of review. Mm -hmm. sites and people and stuff like that yes um, and then go see it yes if you want um or you can wait and then we will probably have it eventually right. we yes will. we will have it yes cool yes. i think that is all for this week yeah. at epl um we will see you next time bye. bye oh you know what we're not going yet now we're gone um,